Welcome to Max Takes on the World. And today we're driving to Rosarito, Mexico. I'm here with my boys Alfredo and Adam back here. We're about to cross the border into Mexico and we're gonna figure out if Rosarito is safe to stay in. the border right now it looks mad lively out right now it does look a little bit sus not gonna lie check it out so now we're just headed to check into our Airbnb in Rosarito took us like six hours to get to our Airbnb finally arrived waiting for our host to pull up now feel bad we told the guy we were gonna get here at like six it's nine so it's a little late the Airbnb area looks a little bit sketchy. Just a little bit. Bro, so how do you feel about this Airbnb? I mean, a big ass Latina bitch coming through right now. That's how <laughs> Yo, no, I mean, like, bro. Like the pad? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do you feel about the oh, Airbnb? I love the pad. It's fucking what more could you ask for? You feel like it's safe? Like a little sketchy or what? Inside here, say, so yeah, I'm not going to walk around all crazy. So the yeah. streets, we don't know, but inside the Airbnb. Oh, we're chilling in. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're lit. Yeah, we're lit. After dropping our stuff off, it was time to hit the town. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It was 50%. Yeah, we have 100. Um, Literally on our way out to go get some drinks, and we get pulled by the cops. They searched us, stripped us down. They're, they swore we had drugs on us for some reason. Does it look like we do drugs? No. Oh, oh, night continues. The police here are dirty. Luckily, we didn't have to bribe them. Night continues. Rosarito at night is completely lively and it feels very safe. We went to check out the number one place there, Papa's and Beer. It's time to spend a full day out here. I'm a little bit hungry. These guys had a crazy night last night. I ended up going to bed a little bit early, but uh, they're back now, we're all up, and it's time to get some Mexican breakfast. I'm hungry, thinking tacos. Tacos it is. of ordering too much tacos we underestimated this place and they're coming out huge some of the biggest street tacos i've seen what's your name bro what's your name casito he can he can he's real good at basketball Ooh. you know what i really like this color right here yes that picture is that picture is my, Extra my large. best sale. Thank you. I get done eating and this guy comes up to me out of nowhere. He's like, hey James, hey James, like you want a free shirt? I'm like, yeah. He's like, alright, come take a picture with me. 
and that's what we just did. And I got a free shirt. Mexico seems really cool during the day so far, at least the vibes we've had. I didn't see any sus stuff going on. You see any sus stuff going on? No, not today. Not today. Everything's looking total cool. Besides, we got pulled over by the cops last night. That kind of sucked. But now we're on our way to go ride some four-wheelers. Excited to ride some four-wheelers. It's been a while. It's been a while since our last road. After four wheelers, we continue to explore the rural side of Mexico. We're in Puerto Nuevo. It's like 30 minutes south of Rosarito. I've been wanting to come to this place for a while because I hear they're supposed to have really good seafood, super fresh and super cheap. So we just ordered some seafood and I'm excited to see if it's good or if it's not. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Every single meal today stuffed me. I only ate twice. I feel like I don't need to eat anymore for the whole day. Tapping out. All that was $55. 12 lobster tails, like three margaritas, three rice and beans, and a water. 55 bucks. Seems like a good deal to me. Low key feeling exhausted now. We need to go back and recharge. I got sand in my ear and stuff from the four wheelers. Feeling kind of dirty. Boys need to sit down for a little bit, then hit the town back again tonight. So Alfredo just left his phone in the taxi that we took to get here and they just called him and thank god he picked up. Now my boy's about to get his phone back. Bro, you're doing another roam all over again. You're the only one with the location uh, share. You better, bro, thank god I you better my share phone your loco. All the rest of us have. for the win after a fun night out. Buenos dias. We are up last night. It was so much fun. So many crazy stories. Alfredo left his uh, phone in the taxi. We ended up getting his phone before we went to Papa some beer. We went in, had a good time. You know, I went to take some money out the ATM to buy this girl a drink. She came with me. I hit twenty dollars. She hit six eighty. Then like six hundred and eighty dollars just come flying out. I'm walking around Mexico with like a big stack of money. This this doesn't feel safe. Like definitely don't carry big stacks of money in Mexico. Kind of mad she did that. But yeah, we're about to check out of our Airbnb now and make a pit stop in Tijuana.
for crossing the border. But my time here, it's felt pretty safe so far. There are some areas that feel a little suspicious, but we have more investigating to do. Stay tuned. Walking the streets of Rosarito, I noticed a lot of like gorgeous art and just Mexican culture. There's a lot of vendors here that have t-shirts, uh, sunglasses, and stuff of that sort. It looks really cool. Ten dollars? Yeah. Okay. Ten bucks you. para la raza, mira, para toda la banda de allá del norte. Que dejen venir aquí a Rosarito, Baja California, México. What he said. Good price, eh? Good price, eh? Free shot of tequila for those guys. Yeah, free shots of tequila. Yeah. Lit. Let's go. Quiero guardar mi camarada otro para que se lo lleven de ahí y ahí cotorreando, mira. Salud. So I'm here with Raul, a Rosarito native, and I'm doing this video to figure out is Rosarito safe? Do you think it's safe? It's a very safe town. As long as you stay out of trouble, no drinking and driving, no using pot on the streets. Since we have no zero tolerance, it's no legal marijuana in Mexico. So the longest you stay out of trouble, it's a very safe town. Okay, you hear that? It's very safe. What about like cartels and stuff like that? Oh, not involved with the oh. tourist people. Not okay. involved. You won't be able to see it on the streets. Okay, thank you, bud. You're welcome. Vamanos. We're on our way out of Rosarito, headed back to cross the Mexican border. Oh, yeah, the cards. We're headed across the border now, back into America. Adam had to get out because we both have global entry cards, and we're like, bro, like we can't wait in those long lines, so you're just gonna have to get out the car and we'll meet you over there. He was low key scared, but I think he got it. All right, thank you, man. Me and Fredo are officially back in the United States. And to answer the question, is Rosarito dangerous? I personally don't think Rosarito is dangerous. I think just like any place you travel to, suspicious activity goes on and you always have to be a little more watchful. But it was a cool time as you saw. Fredo, do you think Rosarito is dangerous? No, not at all. Rosarito, no. Tijuana, definitely sketchy. Definitely sketchy. So we're just gonna wait for our boy Adam to cross because he had to get out and walk across because we got the century cards. And this will conclude my videos, guys. It's been a long journey. Make sure you hit that like button, and if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, fight on.